And then there's God's wisdom. Amen. And we find all three of them in the Word of God. Amen. Don't we? All three is in the Word of God. The Bible talked in one place about being sensual and earthly and devilish. And, and then uh, there's a scripture, um, and I mentioned it last Sunday, in 1 Corinthians, the first chapter I believe it is, talks about that God made it. Now this is from a different translation because sometimes in the King James Version, and I know I don't want to, you can believe what you want to about that. It's a, it's a little, it, it doesn't talk like we talk sometimes in some areas. You understand? And it's, it makes it difficult because it's, you know, it's not even our way of talking hardly. But I love the King James Bible. That's what this is. But he said he made it impossible. God made it impossible for man to know him through their wisdom. So, impossible is a strong word. <laughs> strong word. So, if it's impossible for you to know God through your own wisdom, well, where does that leave us? Now, by, right, by your own wisdom, then... You can think you know God. You can think that you understand the Bible. Right? You can think what you're believing is right and so. But you know what? If it hasn't come from God, it may not be. And more than likely, it isn't. I'm not saying that. I say that with love this morning. Amen. Because we've all been there. We thought certain things and we thought they were right. But you know, come to find out. Just by yielding to the Spirit of God, we found that's not right. right. Wasn't right at all. And you know what? There's nothing wrong, and I know it's an old prideful way for people to think, well, I don't want to admit I'm wrong. Well, you know what? You need to go ahead and admit you're wrong right now. My goodness. Why don't you just say, Lord have mercy. Whew, I don't know everything. Matter of fact, compared to everything, I know nothing. And compared to God, I know nothing. So isn't that easy? That's easy for me. That's easy for me. Amen. Compared to God, I know nothing. Compared to a lot of people, I don't know much. Well, praise the Lord. Well, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on that. <laughs> now, you know what? We can be open to God... And then he will begin to show us things. Amen. So if it takes God to reveal to us, then all we have to do is just listen to him and be open. Amen. They've been, they've been several times in my own life and my experience, and, and I'm not the example. But sometimes when I least expect it, God speaks to me. Yeah. It's not when I'm trying to hear from me. That's right. But I'm always, I'm always uh, prayerfully minded. You know, the Bible says pray without ceasing. Well, you can't do that. Not in the, you can't do that if you to pray without ceasing. Do you know anybody that's ever done that? That's right. Not even Jesus himself. Pray without ceasing, that means you don't stop. Well, Jonathan, you should be praying now. Yeah. How long have you been stopped? <laughs> right? Herb? Right. Brenda? Yeah. Me? I can't even preach. i got to pray. Right. Well, that ain't what it's talking about. It's talking about in your heart. Always be in communion with God. Right. Always. Yeah. While you be working and communion with God. Amen. You can always be prayerfully minded. Anytime you're talking to God, it's called prayer. 
You don't always have to be saying words out of your mouth, which that's the way it is most of the time, but you don't have to. 